was hoping to catch someone being a hero. Looks like I hit the jackpot! I'm working for the biggest group of villains this world has ever known. The Masters of Evil! <laughs> That's the best part of all. We're led by the man himself. Doctor Doom. If you only knew. Cause Doom's got a plan that's gonna shake the heavens. You wanna get tough, punk? Good. Cause so do I. You just an impressive bunch of heroes. Too bad my good buddies Daredevil and Electra weren't with ya. You wouldn't be trying to stop the nuclear missile I just launched, would ya? Hey, if the boss wants me to launch a missile at a heavily populated city, I do it. I don't get paid to ask questions. Sorry, I can't. And even if I did step aside, there's nothing you could do. I've got the only access card to the navigation computer. I choose or else. See you around, sucker. By the power of Asgard! Is this all you got? Winter Soldier, give up! I'm here to stop you from destroying the helicarrier engines. Captain America. Can't say it's good to see you again. You have dealt with this fool before? Oh yeah. Cap and I go way back, don't we, buddy? Winter Soldier, please. Stop this before the helicarrier is destroyed. Thousands of lives will be lost. Sorry, no can do. I've got my orders. You of all people understand that, don't you? Orders have always been so important to you. I'll fight you if I have to. Then what are you waiting for? Let's see what you got, old man. Let's do this! Sorry, we got a little carried away, but we're on it. Lower the force fields and let's clear out of here. It is lucky for you we must depart. I was just getting warmed up. But we will meet again, I promise you. You are too late. In a matter of moments, 
the Winter Soldier will have unlocked the security code for this gun. Then, we shall fire it into the engine. Don't you understand? You can't defeat the Masters of Evil. We're just too powerful. Abandon ship while you still can. He has a plan that will give us all enough power to live like kings for an eternity. Quiet, Chen. You've already said too much. Ah! It does not matter. They will not live to tell anyone. Why don't we make sure of that? I will destroy this. <laughs>
done in that area, come back to the bridge. We're moving everyone to Stark Tower before we begin our next mission. Come back to the bridge, and you'll find out. <laughs> Finally a challenge. The shield soldiers are no match for my battle suit. It is wise that you fear me, for with my recent upgrades, I could crush you all like grapes. And you are destined to lose, for I will not let you stop the Omega base. Very well. Then come, comrade. Let us battle. I will now crush you like a grape. Mysterio! Jeez, it's good to see you! Still got a fishbowl for a head, I see. Spider-Man! Do you always have to be a half-wit? Ooh, now that hurt! And speaking of getting hurt, step away from those plans before I have to get medieval on you. You idiot! Why do you think S.H.I.E.L.D. has plans for Ultron? I thought everyone had them. I got some this morning in a box of cereal. These plans are upgrades. The good guys want to capture Ultron, so they can rewrite his programming and turn him into a S.H.I.E.L.D. weapon. That's impossible. Ultron is sentient. Reprogramming him is illegal. Yes, it is. But all I care about are these plans. Ultron wants them for the weapon upgrades. Huh. If your Ultron gets weapon upgrades, then my Ultron will want weapon upgrades, and that just won't do. Huh? I've heard enough of your babbling. Give me some help.
to the entropy to my friends. You will remain in the world as long as I hold this button. I'm afraid you have no other options. Now, to get things interesting, you'll receive an electrical shock for every incorrect answer you give. Let's begin, shall we? How far is the Earth from the sun? Oh, that was a lucky guess! What is the half-life of Strobium 90? Oh, your answer was incorrect. Isn't that shocking? Which of the following is not a subatomic particle? Somehow you're cheating! Which race exterminated itself with technology from the water? Is one of you reading my mind? The deal is off! as you look! I believe these surface dwellers intend on destroying the sonic emitters, Krang. Then these humans are as foolish as they are weak, my cousin. They stand no chance against our combined might. True, but I do savor a chance for battle. I grow bored guarding these devices. As do I. But acting as guards has put us in Atuma's good graces. And that puts us near the throne. <laughs> and down the road, who is to say what might happen to King Atuma, eh, cousin? My feelings exactly. Now let us dispose of these interlopers and prove to Atuma just how trustworthy we are. Now you will die. My health's almost gone. This ain't so bad. Finished already, human? You lose. Yeah. 
king of Atlantis! Fools! You will pay for your insolence! Let me teach them a lesson, Atuma! No. We will work together, Tiger Shark. And we will make them pay dearly for their transgressions against the king of Atlantis! take whatever they wanted from the catacombs. Probably. There's a lot there to search through. Finally, my friends. It appears you're not Kasra out. I trust you're not the only team Colonel Fury has attempting to stop the Masters of Evil. Atuma allowed me free reign of the catacombs in return for the sonic emitters. And I just now located our prize. The Tome of Asarius. I'm sorry, but I have no time for questions. I must be on my way to the Valley of Spirits. But before I go, allow me to summon a little entertainment room. It's the least I can do.
Many thanks. Atlantis owes you a debt of gratitude. And Namor would like to say something. Surface dwellers, I'll have you know I was perfectly capable of handling the situation alone. Yes, well, you did. So I suppose I should thank you. You now have my permission to leave Atlantis.
So, still you persist in this foolish quest of attacking me in my palace? Very well then. I will unleash my latest creation, the Ultima Mark II. Correct. Its enriched titanium casing is laced with vibranium, and the servo motors are 300% stronger than the previous model. So you see, it will be quite impossible for you to destroy this robot. They'll be quite attractive to you. <laughs> Got it. Stay down. It would appear my creations aren't enough of a challenge for you. A pity, really. But fear not. My prototypes of Ultima Mark III have more than enough firepower to make short work of you. Do enjoy it. As long as you survive.
want some? Loki. He has the ability to shape shift. Obviously, to keep you busy while they enacted the next step of their plot. Team, once you're finished with Mandarin, return to base immediately. The Masters of Evil have kidnapped two X Men Nightcrawler, Jean Grey. <laughs> I suppose Professor Xavier sent you to save me. Well, he shouldn't have bothered. I am very different. For the first time in my life, I'm free. Free to use my powers without being restrained by Xavier and all the rest of you. He told me you'd say something like that. And he also told me the truth. He said you fear me because I'm more powerful than any of you. Liar! Everyone has tried to stop me from exploring just how powerful I am. Well, I think it's about time I found out. Don't you?
deal with you later. <laughs> Hello, heroes. This is your old buddy, Arcade. I hope you're ready for a fun-filled day at Murder World, because I've got some killer events lined up. I know you've been running yourselves ragged trying to stop Dr. Doom. So I spoke to Baron Mordo. He was able to divert your teleportation spell to my little land of fun and assassination. See how tense you are? This little vacation is just what you need. And remember, no one ever leaves Murder World unhappy. Because no one ever leaves Murder World alive! <laughs> well, if it isn't my dear, dear friends. You're wasting your time trying to save me. You should be worried about saving yourselves. Liar! Arcade isn't controlling me. He set me free. He wants me to use my powers to their fullest. Then it looks like Arcade is going to get what he wants. Kill them? Oh well, you still have your uses. Temper, temper! That's no way to enjoy your day at the park. Why don't you test your video game skills and see if you can save your friend? But watch out, there's going to be a few pitfalls along the way. Wolverine! I just had the strangest dream. I was trying to kill you at a carnival. Look around, Red. It was no dream. Somehow that nutball arcade was controlling you. Are you all right now? Other than a few bumps and bruises, I'm fine. I hate to rush you, but have you got any idea where they're keeping Nightcrawler? The last time I saw Kurt, Dr. Doom had him hooked up to some kind of power amplifier. That must be that mutant amplifier they swiped from the Omega base. I do remember Arcade was there with Doom. If you can find Arcade, I'm sure he can tell you where Nightcrawler is. Sounds like a plan, Genie. You stay here and rest up. We're gonna track down Arcade and have a few laughs with him. End of the line, losers. I'm gonna flatten you into the dirt. Are you trying to make me mad? Because that's exactly what you don't want to do. That does it. When I'm done, there won't be enough of you left to fill a thimble. I'm gonna flatten you. Prepare yourself for the Duke of Destruction, the King of Sting, the one, the only, Shocker! Can't say I care much for being in this big pinball machine, but I do like being paid to bust up you freaks. Oh, you're a real laugh riot, you know that? But we'll see who's laughing after I've shattered every bone in your body. Think you're ready for me? Ain't got the energy for that.
piece of me. I hope you kids had a fun day at the park. You have no idea how much your mother and I had to scrimp and save so we could afford to send you here. Well, I can see someone's getting cranky. But that's okay. I've got a little something here that should quiet you down. All right, you asked for it, but remember, this is gonna hurt you way more than it's gonna hurt me!
favor. You must prove yourself worthy by solving the puzzle. Prepare yourselves.
you for that. Alive. I do hate to ruin this happy moment, but I fail to mention one slight detail. This echo of your friend is all too easy for me to control. Isn't that right, Nightcrawler? That is correct, Lord Mephisto. Now, destroy your friends! so that I might take their astral energy. As you wish, my lord. All you did was clear my mind. I am sorry for attacking you. I hate to disappoint you, but Mephisto spoke the truth. I am but an echo of my real self. I cannot leave this realm. As I said, I cannot leave here, and we must face facts. You cannot defeat Mephisto, but I can, by sacrificing what little energy I have left. There is nothing that can be done for me. I would rather die honorably than spend an eternity damned in this place. Take care, my friends, and may God watch over you. Now prepare yourself, Mephisto, for you are about to face the might of the amazing Nightcrawler. Stay back for me! I command you, stay back! Yes, he did. Kurt couldn't leave that realm, and he was the only one who could defeat Mephisto. There were no other options. Now is not the time for sorrow. My friend gave his life to save you and to aid you in your mission. Go. Stop the Masters of Evil. Do not allow them to achieve success, and Kurt Wagner will not have died. Team, I hate to even bring this up, but Mephisto did mention Dr. Doom had plans for Asgard. Return to base as quickly as possible so that we can respond to this new threat. Hey, Wrecker! Look who's here! Heads up, men. Seems we got us a little challenge. Little is right! What fun are they gonna be? I want to fight more gods! Yeah! This bunch is gonna be too easy! 
That's what we get for taking out their big guns first. Now it's just a matter of dealing with the small fries. Now you're making me angry. Big mistake. Get them, men, and make them hurt real bad. Buddy, you are dead. <laughs> Right now, you got much bigger worries than the living icicle here. Yeah, there's the little matter of you getting stomped flat! But we're ready for you this time. And make no mistake, we ain't gonna take you prisoner, cause there ain't gonna be enough of you left to put in a thimble! Think you're ready for me? That's no way to straighten your spine. This must be our lucky day. We get to play with the spider. Well, if it isn't two of my favorite psychos, Scorpion and Lizard, how are you kids doing? Always the comedian, aren't you, Webhead? Now, is that any way to talk to someone who brought you a nice new lily pad to sit on? He's a lizard, you moron, not a frog. Oh. Well, how about you, Scorpion? You need a lily pad? Hey, Scorpion! Seeing the web slinger reminds me of how much I love to pull the legs off of spiders. Me? I just like to stomp them and watch them twitch. Are you guys making veiled threats? I can't tell. And I really think I should be in the loop on this. That's it! I've heard enough. Let's shut him up, Scorpion! You won't escape! Ain't got the energy for that. Give me some help. Yes. I don't 
have enough food. Your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man needs help. Got it. Is there a note of jealousy in your voice? No, my lady. Only concern. Good. For I will keep company with whomever I choose. Is that clear? Yes, my lady. A thousand apologies to you. Enough of this. Tell me why Doctor Doom wages war in Asgard. One of your precious team knows. Impossible. How could one of us know Dr. Doom's plan? It is a very interesting story. Tell him nothing, my lady. We've wasted enough time. Let me destroy Thor. I have a better idea, my pet. Let us both destroy him. defeated the Enchantress and the Executioner. I would have not thought it possible. I can still stand, so I am well enough to begin the fight anew. Let Loki beware, for he has now truly earned my wrath. 
will not be an easy fight for sure. But I will rally the gods, and we will unshackle the beloved city of Asgard. I thank you again, humans. All of Asgard is in your debt. Now, onward to battle! Nah. Yeah, we certainly showed Vola, didn't we, Kirk? Yes, but I would not be too proud. Vola never told us where the key was to unlock this trunk. Give me a boulder, and we'll have no need for a key. What are you doing, humans? Don't tell me you're here to help Odin. <laughs> the gods must truly be defeated to need allies such as these. You would dare to challenge us? How utterly insane! How easily you fall! Out of health. 
Anybody else want some? They now each get what they desire without having to share the spoils with us. We'll just see about that. All we have to do is guess which spear is truly Odin's. That will open the barrier. Can you use your power of mind control to get the elf to choose for us? It is all too simple for the master of magic. Go, elf. Choose a spear for your master, Baron Mordo. <laughs> An unfortunate outcome. How did you get here? You shouldn't have been able to cross the bridge. Evidence suggests differently. Let us battle them. Enemy target. <laughs> Unexpected surprise. But don't you know, it's not safe up here on Raven's Peak. At least not for the likes of you. Sorry, but I'm not exactly sure what's happened to Daddy Dearest. You see, Dr. Doom has him. I seek to take control of the Destroyer armor, but I require four God Swords to free it from its prison of ice. It is a magical shell created by Odin. The wearer's consciousness is pulled inside, leaving their body outside in a frozen state. The destroyer armor is so powerful that even the mighty Thor cannot defeat it. I invite you to do your best, but know this. I will possess the destroyer armor. <laughs> Weak and be 
need help. Job. Thank you for doing what I could never have accomplished alone. You should know by now that deception is my greatest weapon. You never teleported back to Valhalla. You're in a land of my making. Yes, and now I will take possession of the Destroyer armor and crush the life from you. to serve the Empress of Shi'ar, and that is Empress Deathbird. She has given me orders to destroy all invaders. Though it pains me, Lilandra is no longer on the throne. I take commands only from Empress Deathbird. Now please, go, or I shall be forced to use violence. Very well then. You leave me no choice.
surrender now. the reports of humans on board ship are true. I would not have believed them capable of getting this far. Nor I, Hussar. Humans are such inferior creatures. We are Imperial Guards, loyal to Empress Deathbird. Yes. Without the help of the Imperial Guard, she would never have gained power. No. Most of them were fools who wouldn't listen to reason. Luckily, Guardian is loyal to the throne rather than to a person. But we could have dealt with even the mighty Guardian, just as we're going to deal with you now. Soon you will know what it feels. <laughs> on trial for crimes against the Empire, and then executed. Indeed I do, humans. I've spent months planning my rise to power, and I'm not about to lose now. So with the aid of the Macran Crystal, I will destroy you. The last vestiges of defiance to my absolute authority!
Don't waste my time, peasant. by the Macron crystal! Give it up, Deathbird. You've lost. Tell us where Lalandre is. You impudent worm. How dare you even speak to me? I am the Empress of Shi'ar. The throne isn't yours. It belongs to Lalandra. Never! If I am to be denied the throne, then I will make certain my sister will never rule again by destroying this entire ship. Team, we have to catch up with Deathbird. She must be going to set off some kind of self-destruct mechanism. So, you still live. You humans are more resourceful than I'd thought. Fools! You should already know that Galactus has no weakness. With the thousands of civilizations he's faced, do you think he'd still be alive today if he was not invincible? Yes. And I'm also going to have you destroyed. Super Scroll, Pybok, attack! The Empress is wise and just. We are honor bound to obey her. Yes. And now we have the privilege of carrying out her order to kill the human.
locate the muonic inducer on the double. Uatu says we're running out of time. Doom's beginning to cause real damage with his use of Odin's power. Even a low on power. Sorry about that. Affirmative. Okie doke. Got it. My friends, Colonel Fury sent me to aid you in battling my old master. But first, allow me to use the power cosmic to heal you. True, he is mighty, but if we work together, we can slow him down. Three of his machines are nearby. If you reconfigure them to malfunction, it should cause a feedback loop that will render Galactus unconscious. The inducer is what powers the three machines, but you won't be able to get to it until Galactus is out of the way. The enemy has been sighted! Configure the three consoles again. Move quickly. forget. Thanks for your help, Silver Surfer. Now that you've got the muonic inducer, it's time we brought you people home. You're the real Colossus, aren't you? But Doom managed to turn you evil. Dr. Doom merely showed me that he is the ultimate power in this universe. And now I have the privilege of being his protector. Some privilege? And you're not the real Captain America, are you? You're just some dark clone of his. I am the final proof that Doctor Doom rules with absolute power. 
He was able to create me as an exact duplicate of Captain America. You're not an exact duplicate. Cap has way more class than you'll ever have, sport. I can understand your anger, Tony. But soon you will feel like I do, and join Doom's forces. Don't you dare call me by my first name. You're not Captain America, and I'll die before I turn into one of Doom's flunkies. I too had thought so, until I faced Doctor Doom and lost. Now look at me. Soon, we will stand side by side as protectors of our Lord Doom. That's not gonna happen. Not in a million years. <laughs> It's almost over. Greetings, Tovarish. you long enough to get here. I was beginning to wonder if you'd ever make it. Don't be too hard on them, Psylocke. They aren't one of Lord Doom's chosen. Yet. Our minds aren't twisted. We now realize that Lord Doom is the ultimate power in this galaxy. And in serving him, we are granted abilities far beyond anything we had previously known. If you really think that's so, then follow me and you'll see what Lord Doom is capable of. Go ahead, follow Cyclops if you want, or stay here and face me. Either way, you're going to have to fight us both sometime. I'm going to enjoy this.
So you decided to follow me down here. I can't say that was a wise tactical decision. It's just further proof that Doctor Doom is the ultimate power. He can't be beaten, so why not give up and save yourself the pain? Sorry, you're wasting your breath trying to appeal to the old Cyclops. Doctor Doom has total control over me. Just like he's about to have total control over you. <laughs> of Odin. Evil Thor, would you give me your hammer? I need it to free Odin, and I'd really rather not fight you for it. So you're the real deal, huh? Somehow I thought you'd be taller in person, and a lot more intelligent. Wait a minute, you're my exact double and you're making fun of me? Hmm, maybe I'm not that bright after all. I'm not your exact double. Doom made a few modifications. Well, it looks like he ruined my sense of fashion and trashed my voice. Is that it? Or did he make other changes? Yes. He gave me the desire to kill my enemy. As a fellow Spider-Man, I urge you not to use the word kill. We aren't the kind of person who kills. We disable. You are such a goody two-shoes. I'm gonna kill you. Hey, now what word did we just finish talking about? I'm not your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Stand up and fight me!
luck has been on your side, for that could be the only reason you have survived this long. But my latest creation will finally put an end to it. Who better to serve as my personal guards than the recreations of my greatest foes? Meet my fantastic form. Don't talk that way about our lord and master. Doctor Doom is the greatest man the world has ever known. Now you will kneel before Victor Von Doom. And you will pledge allegiance to him. And if you don't, we'll pound you until you do! Got it? This will you See you around, 
You've accomplished nothing. Doom. Odin. You can't be free. Your wretched scheme is undone. And your black soul is mine. No! An eternity of suffering is the fate of those who challenge the gods. You gotta thank your old man for me, Thor. Odin did one hell of a job reversing the damage doomed to Earth. Aye, but I believe he is presently occupied with Doom and my brother Loki. Let's hope he's teaching them new kinds of pain. The world owes you a debt of gratitude it can never repay. But... With the danger past, our task force must be disbanded. You're a punk fury. Listen, fellas. I don't care if you like me, but if a threat like this comes again, can S.H.I.E.L.D. count on your help? The world can count on us, sir. from Galactus. For that, I will destroy their planet. All is well, but the tale is not yet complete. While pursuing Doctor Doom, your actions have had ramifications you could not possibly imagine. Allow me to show you the future you helped to create. It is regrettable you did not save the Omega Base computer. It contained research data on the Legacy Virus, a disease that is deadly to mutants. In several years, the virus will become a plague that runs rampant across the Earth. Because you chose not to act, you may have doomed the mutant race to extinction. You showed true courage in locating the ingredients needed to heal Namor in Atlantis. Because of this, Namor will grow to trust surface dwellers. And in time, he will aid in the formation of a worldwide organization of superheroes. This group will save the Earth from many dangers that would have otherwise destroyed it. It was quite valiant of you to rescue Senator Kelly, a known detractor of mutants. Because of your kindness, the Senator will successfully sponsor the Mutant Aid Bill. This will allocate government funds for schools like Professor Xavier's. These schools will prove to be very effective in training young mutants in how to control their powers. It was most unfortunate that you were unable to rescue Nightcrawler in Mephisto's realm. Mystique will not take the news of her son's death lightly. Under cover of night, she will sneak into the X-Mansion and vent her frustration upon Professor Xavier. He will then lie in a coma for months before dying. And with his death, the X-Men will disband forever. There will be a great loss because you neglected to locate the Sword of the Valkyrie. 
Without the aid of her magical sword, Valkyrie falls in the battle to free Asgard. Balder then dies attempting to save her. Because of this, Asgard refuses contact with Earth for over a century. Had you located Vola's ring, it would have spared much bloodshed. In years to come, the angry prophetess will not warn Odin of an attempt on his life. His death will plunge Asgard into years of chaos. Eventually, Thor will become king, but only after Lady Sif dies in battle. Saving Princess Lalandra was a very wise decision. In time, the Shi'ar will give Earth advanced technology that will wipe out all disease and hunger. Eventually, this new technology will even allow humanity to colonize other planets. It is regrettable that you did not save the Skrull planet from destruction. The loss of the base will destabilize that entire sector of space. This, in turn, will lead to an outbreak of war between the Kree and Skrull that will last decades and cost millions of lives. Because you neglected to rescue Odin, the Earth will pay a heavy price. Thor's father will refuse to aid his son in battle, and the Earth will fall easily before the mighty Thanos. It will be centuries before humanity is freed from this tyrant's rule. You are to be congratulated for locating the damaged Ultimate Nullifier at Castle Doom. One day soon, Mephisto will seek to conquer our dimension, but Reed Richards will repair the Ultimate Nullifier and use it to stop the vile creature before all is lost. This timeline was created by you, know that it can be altered. For you are a hero, and your every action, or inaction, affects the entire universe.